hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i am going to cut my hair again um so if you watched my previous video you know i was so against pixie cut and i've had to think about this again it took me a few days as you can see the condition of my hair it's been three days now since i relaxed my hair so i feel like the only thing that can make this hair look the way i want is to do a pixie cut i tried the short bob but when i style it doesn't look like how i pictured because my hair is still damaged like i still have some areas that are short so it's not really like full enough i'm gonna try and keep the top long maybe like the same length but the rest needs to go so for me i find it easy to use clippers uh when doing a pixie cut especially if you're doing it on yourself so the clippers are back and these ones are by wool so i've done my first section and i'm just gonna turn around and show you guys so this is going to be my first section to cut so i'm going to start with the biggest guide that i have and this one is a 22 millimeter with seventh of an inch so i am done with the back i i am actually loving this length i didn't want it to be like shaved and i feel like this is actually like balancing with all the short pieces that i have yeah i think i'm gonna trim some of the um longer pieces i'm just gonna create like a one inch part or more <laughs> and i'm just gonna use my scissors for this just so that when I like mold it, it doesn't have like the gap between the longer and the short pieces. We want it to have like that sort of like graduation. And the back, it's, it's short. So I don't really need to cut anything here. What I can do is cut it in an angle, not like a blunt cut. So as you can see, it's like angled in a way. So it kind of make that um, angled cut. And then now the longer pieces can join together and make a nice haircut. So that's what I'm going to do also on this side. And I'm also trimming off some of these side bangs because I don't like when they're like super long. So yeah, that's it for the haircut. Next, I am going to add some color. And the dye that I'm going to be using is this one by Calville. And it's in ebony black. Because for me personally, I find that the black color makes my hair look fuller. So I like to use a black color, especially when I have short hair and I'm going to be wearing them like this black color is the best thing to do if you have like thinning hair so it will kind of just like give the illusion of fuller hair in a way and this one is a semi-permanent so it's not permanent it will eventually fade and i really really love this brand um this one especially because you can actually dye your hair the same day as you relax so you don't really have to wait long i just 
wasn't sure about the cut it comes in a little uh, squeezy bottle already mixed you don't have to mix anything but then you also get um, instruction manual um, and shampoo and conditioner yeah so and some gloves which we need so before i go ahead and apply the color i'm gonna take some vaseline i want this to just stay on my hair i don't want it to go on to like my skin and my face and my ears so applying vaseline acts like as a barrier especially if you're going out after this yeah you don't want to go out with like dye on your ears and your neck so i'm just gonna shake this a little bit and then use my scissors to cut the top like so and i'm just gonna go ahead and start applying the color So I am done applying the color. I'm going to put a shower cap on and leave this on for about 30 minutes. And then after that, I will go ahead and rinse and shampoo and condition. And then I'll come back and mold my hair. So I am back now from rinsing the color and this is how it's looking. I'm kind of liking this um, curliness up here. It's so cute. So this is how my hair is looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mousse and the one I have is the ORS Rep Set Mousse. And you need to apply like a generous amount of this to mold. And I'm just going to take a retail comb and start molding my hair down. So today I'm just going to mold and see if I need to do some more trimming. And the top here I'm just molding it towards the front. And I currently don't have ripping strips, but I do have this um, Velcro mesh thingy. It works really, really well. Kind of works like the strips, but it just doesn't cover the whole thing. But it works really, really well. If you're still struggling to find strips, you can use this kind of things. Or you can just use a Durek. Works well. It's just this one makes it easy because of this Velcro. Thingy. and i'm just gonna leave it like this it, it's very very secure like your hair won't move i also use this thing at night when i go to sleep if i want my hairstyle to last longer so i am back now and my hair is dry i'm just gonna take this off so i'm just gonna take some serum this one is by afri true is the heat protective one So I definitely need, need to cut behind my ears here and I'm just going to use my scissors.
So I have the number three here, which is the 10 millimeter one. And I'm gonna try and balance the bag because it's not looking that good. So it's still not balancing and I am starting to get a little bit nervous now that I'm going to have to <laughs> create like a shave back there. So now we're going down a size. I am using the number two, which is a six millimeter to see if it will work. So I've, I've, I went and I sectioned this part of the back here. So this is where I'm going to use the number two. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to go down to number one and I really don't want to. <laughs> so I feel like it's actually working the fade. But now I'm going to go even like the size smaller. This is the number one, which is three millimeters, the smallest one I have. So I did section um, the portion in half. So about I have about an inch there of my hair where I'm going to use the number one to just create like the fade. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So today's was mostly about cutting and the color. Um, I'm not even going anywhere. So full style next time. So this is the final result. So this is how the bag is looking. I hope it's laying down. I don't really like the um, blunt cut around here. I just like it to be like messy in a way so this is how it's looking so yeah this is the final results i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one bye